Hey, I'm Sophie Dossi. I'm a professional contortionist, and this is how I work it. I'm going to take you through 24 hours of my beauty and wellness routine. I started doing this when I was about 12 years old. When I saw a YouTube video of a contortionist, I was like, oh, this is cool. And uh, I tried it, and I realized, oh, I can do contortion. I started teaching myself at home by like studying the YouTube videos, trying to get every pose right. And I basically train at least an hour a day or until my arms just get really exhausted and I just can't do any more handstands. I'm always trying new tricks and new transition movements. I couldn't tell you how many poses I do. I do a lot. Probably one of the best moments of my life was probably when I got the golden buzzer on America's Got Talent. I was so shocked and just never expected that at all. That was the craziest thing that has ever happened. On my YouTube channel, I do my contortion tricks or just funny videos. I think I have like 400 videos on my channel. I've been making videos every week for about three and a half, four years now and never skipped a week, which is crazy, but it's what I, what I love to do, so. People think with contortion, it's a lot of just being flexible, but there's actually a lot more strength and core work to it than just being flexible. I'd say what makes me want to do this every single day is just loving contortion, loving the creativity of it, how you can just express yourself through your movement. It's kind of like dancing, except my own kind of version. Good morning guys. It's currently like nine o'clock right now. I normally wake up around the same time every day No matter how late I go to bed. Oh my god. I'm like gonna have to sleep right now I was up kind of late editing a video. I'm just going to Stretch to wake up a little bit more for me waking up in the morning and a morning stretch is me doing contortion So it kind of just like roll around and it's the only way I can get a stretch. I can't just like be like I just got a bed in half. Yeah, I'll just do that for a little bit. And then uh, I probably get up, shower, get ready. So I just got out of the shower and I kind of just put on some clothes. My hair is wet right now and I kind of just brush it out while it's wet. I'll put some leave-in conditioner mixed with regular conditioner in my hair. Just scrunch it up with my hands. That's kind of the curls are coming back. Then I'll diffuse it to dry it faster. I'm just gonna do this for a while. Now it's dry. After that, I'll have breakfast, make myself this. It's kind of it's kind of a salad. Take some spinach, cabbage, smush this avocado, take a lemon, and I'm gonna squeeze some on the avocado salt. Then I'm just gonna mix it in like it's a dressing to my salad. Bon appetit. <laughs> if I know I'm gonna do hand balancing, I'll normally just eat fruits or like salad so that it's very light. I normally make sure before I do hand balancing not to eat at least an hour or two before. For a performance, I'll not eat for like at least four hours before. So I eat breakfast. After that, I'll normally go and do a little bit of makeup. I'd say my camera makeup, I always like to keep it natural. I don't really like too much makeup. With my performance makeup, I do a little bit more, just like a little bit more of everything. The first step in my performance routine for makeup is I just take a little bit of concealer. Kind of just put it in like spots that need it. This spot used to be pimple. I like to blend it in with my fingers. I feel like it comes off better than like if you use a beauty blender. With my nails, I normally don't have them too long. Doing hand bouncing or like aerial hoop or things like that, you can easily break a nail and that hurts. I normally do gel nails because they stay on longer. If I use just normal nail polish, it'll like chip and break off. But I like doing my nails because in performances, normally they always zoom up on my hands. So if your nails aren't done, then you're just gonna, it's not gonna be pretty. <laughs> People think it's mainly arm strength, but it's actually more finger strength of balancing. When I first started hand balancing, I was like, why are my fingers getting sore? It's this part of your arm and then your fingers. I'm gonna take a little bit of powder, just so like I don't shine. I'm just gonna dabble around. And then blush. I love blush. Sometimes I put a little too much on, but I just, I feel like I can't go without blush and lip gloss. If I have those things, I, I don't need anything else. And then I'll normally take some highlighter. It makes you just pop out on performances just a little bit more. Kind of like sparkles, but like less dramatic. And sometimes I'll put just a little bit on top of my lip and then some on my nose. 
And then I love to put highlighter in the corner of my eye. I think it makes your eyes pop out a little bit more. The next thing I'm going to do is lashes. For performances, a lot of the time I'm really far and high up on a hoop in the air, so people aren't going to really see my face as clearly, especially if I'm like spinning a lot. So I normally do lashes just because it brings out your eyes a little bit more. What is up, everybody? So, I've been getting a lot of these questions. Do I have a spine? So, a long time ago, a YouTuber had asked me, like, do you have a spine? And I jokingly said, no, I don't have a spine. And from there, it just took off, and I've never actually answered. As you can see, it doesn't really look like I have one. So, who knows if I have a spine or not? Honestly, I don't even know the answer to that, you know? So, now I'm gonna put it on my lash. It's really difficult to get it to look natural-ish. I actually haven't put my makeup on in contortion. I've done other people's makeup with my feet before. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a joke here. I'm actually trying to make it good. One time, it turned out not horrible, but most of the time it kind of turns out bad, but I mean, it's not bad for doing makeup with your feet. I've gotten really coordinated with my feet, actually, which is kind of, scary at times because I'll be out with my friends and I'll just do random things with my feet, like things you would do with your hands and then they get weirded out about it and they're like, what? And I'm just like, oh, this is, this is normal for me. So I got the first lash on. Now I just gotta put the second one on. <laughs> I discovered lashes when I was on America's Got Talent. She was like, oh, would you wanna put lashes on? I was like, lashes, what's that? And then she put them on me and I was like, oh, I like these. AGT got me into it. <laughs> I've gotten really used to leaving my hair down and doing a bunch of poses. I actually practice doing aerials with my hair down. It gets difficult at times because when your hair is in your face, it's hard to like focus on one specific spot to like balance. A lot of the time it ends up getting in the way, like if you're going to do a neck hang, which is when I hang on the back of my neck on the hoop, my hair will sometimes get in the way and it's such a difficult pose. Any little sweat on your neck or anything that could go very badly <laughs> so normally areas I put my hair up because of that so then for the next part I'm basically just going to brush out my eyebrows just to make sure they're like straight and then I'm going to put on my lipstick so basically almost done and then I just put on gloss and then I'm done that's it that's all my makeup. Definitely put on too much blush, but that's okay. Cool. After that, I'll go with my brother and talk about ideas for YouTube videos. Um, okay, so then what's the concept of it? Like, what's the intro? Is it weird to say I think better upside down? I don't know. Even if I'm not training, I'm upside down a lot. Not even like doing contortion. I'll just either be on a couch upside down or on a chair and like sit upside down. Yeah. I'm upside down again. Deal with it. People say they're, the blood rushes to their head when they go upside down, but I think I've been upside down so much that that doesn't happen to me anymore. So I can be upside down for as long as I want. <laughs> For me and my brother, we're very close. I enjoy working with him. We work really well together. And I have a spine, so Sophie. So, Zach, calm down. Yeah, we both help each other in different ways. After we come up with a YouTube video idea, we pretty much start almost right away. What's up, guys? It's Sophie. Welcome back to this week's video. Unless for some reason we took too long to come up with a video idea, then we'll just film it the next day. My favorite kind of videos are my dance videos. I've done dance videos with Matt Stephanie. Nina, who's like this amazing choreographer. I love doing videos with him because we always add uh, contortion into it and make it look trippy, which I haven't done with other people before. It's really fun to create them and also to kind of create a story to them. It's almost like music video kind of theme. I'd say contortion for me is a lot like dance where when people express themselves with dance, it's me expressing myself in a different way with contortion, but doing more like creative poses with it and telling a story through that. 
So, um, I cook with my feet sometimes. Um, yeah, making a, making a pizza with my feet, you know? The food normally doesn't turn out that great. So, we're gonna grab the flour. Hey! The fact that I'm not that great of a cook and then I cook with my feet, it kinda doesn't work well together, but you know, I do it anyways. I did wash my feet before. Where you're like, oh, you did it with your feet, that's gross. This yeah. looks god awful. It's actually not that great normally afterwards. I mean, I say that in my videos, it's not that great. It sucks. But you know, it's something. Who else can say they made a pizza with their feet? So you know, we'll start filming together and depending on the video, it'll either take like a full day or maybe it'll even take just like a few hours. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Yeah. Love you guys. Peace. And after that, I'll normally start warming up. I'm just gonna stretch my toes a little bit first. Stretching my toes and my splits and then I'll go run on the treadmill for about like five minutes to kind of warm up your body. I mean, that's the perfection in me is I always make sure everything looks like I'm not trying at all and it's just coming super easy to me. Oh, look how easy a one arm is. Look how easy me twisting this direction is. That's what I try to master when I'm training. From there, I'll start doing some like press handstands to warm up or just one arms on each side. And then from there, I start trying new poses and either creating videos for Instagram or just trying to come up with new poses or new routines. To be honest, I don't have a list of how many. I just like know them in the back of my head because there's so many, probably like millions of movements you can do on contortion, which is why I love it so much. You'll think you like hit a point where you can't come up with anything and then something will pop in my head that's like super beyond crazy and I'm like, oh, there's some more stuff. <laughs> Every move is really hard. You have to keep repeating it over and over to get it super perfect. A lot of people ask me like if it's painful and I, I wouldn't be doing contortion if it was painful. If anything, it's more fun for me. The only difficult part with contortion is making sure you're doing it in the right way and if you fall, to fall in the correct way. Basically make sure you know your body so that you don't hurt yourself. People think like getting into a pose is really hard, but sometimes it's getting out that's even harder. Depending on where your body's twisting and stuff, it's harder to use your back muscles to lift yourself up back from it and to control yourself down to where it doesn't look like, oh, she fell out of that pose versus being super controlled and slowing yourself to come down onto the floor. I make up the names for my poses because I don't know the actual names. Because I'll just like either see them online or I'll create a pose. And so then I'll just like make up a name. I do have a favorite pose. I call this one the suspended chair. It's where I'm kind of sitting in a back bend, but my legs are lifted off the ground so it looks like I'm suspended. That's like a really hard pose that very few contortionists can do. So I really like that one. I'll normally have the rest of the day to train. So I'll just take my time on that and basically do it till I just get super tired. Sometimes I'll finish off by doing aerials in my backyard. Even though aerials are hard, it's a little bit less difficult than hand mounting. So my dad helped build all my canes and my rig in my backyard. We kind of just make a bunch of things together whenever I'm like, I feel like we should make up a new apparatus. We'll both like design something at home and see if we can make it. So hand balancing for me is like a workout in itself, but a workout basically for me. It's not like contortion and hand balancing. I'll normally go for runs a lot. Um, I, I actually enjoy going on runs. It makes me feel good. I'll normally work out my abs, crunches, things like that. I'll even work out my toes. It's kind of a weird thing to say, but it helps you for like your points, so your points nice and pretty. Just little things like that. Normally after I train, sometimes I'll go in the studio with my brother. We made the garage kind of like a studio. My brother uh, does music producing, so sometimes I'll just sit in there and hang out and listen to beats he's making and things like that. I'll normally, actually, when I meditate, I'll normally meditate when I know I have a performance coming up that week. I'll normally meditate uh, almost every night. What I'll do is I'll visualize my performance. I've, I've always done that since I did competitive gymnastics. That's always helped me be more confident performing just knowing I'm not gonna make a mistake. Well, if I'm sore or my body's really tired, I'll either go in my hot tub in my backyard or yeah, I'll take a bath and put Epsom salt in it. Just relax.
from there, then I'll just get ready for bed, put on some pajamas. So I'm just gonna take off my makeup and then go to sleep. This sounds funny. I use hand soap for my face, like bar soap. You know, I've actually never used lotion like on a daily. I feel like I've never needed, needed to. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> After a day of all that, I always feel accomplished and I feel like, ooh, today was a good day. I love doing contortion. It's my way of expressing everything and it's my biggest passion. It was more of a hobby when I first started, but I fell in love with it and I'm so grateful I was able to make this a job and be able to do this every day. So, good night, guys. <laughs>